Hello everyone and welcome back for another video and today I will be doing part two to my sketchbook tour because you know I just finished semester two in my junior year of art school so I have a lot to share with you guys so without further ado let's get into the tour. Oh yeah and this sketchbook tour is from January to May of 2024. Um sorry I forgot to put that in but I'm in the middle of the video so you get this penguin and yes yeah and also I'm no longer filming with my phone attached to a ruler like propped up against my floor so I actually have a tripod now so it's a little bit nicer so I hope you guys enjoy that too so this is my first spread you've seen it I had it in the intro duh so here she is um so basically I have a lot of these spreads that are very nice because I went a little above and beyond in my advanced animation class one of our first assignments were just draw 20 minutes a day but I was like I want to make my sketchbook pages for this assignment look so good so I made full spreads and I'm just so happy with how they turned out I love drawing little sea creatures, some little girls on Pinterest, some guys, you know, just fun stuff. I do this little little thing guy, fat squirrel, duh, and then we have a Genjin character, I think her name, Candace? <laughs> I think that's her name, I don't know. Um, I do it for one of my friends, just redesign, because I don't play Genshin, but a lot of my friends do, so I just wanted to put her on there for fun. Oh, also, since these are related to my advanced animation project, um, you should check it out. Um, I posted it a few weeks ago. I'll link it right here for you, and please go check it out. Um, I didn't sleep many nights. Actually, no, only one night, but I was up till 6 a.m. many other nights working on it. And yes, it would really mean a lot to me. Thank you! All right, on to our next spread, and here she is, so beautiful, so cute. Um, I just wanted to, you know, what I do is I like to peruse Pinterest and I pick my favorite pictures and I just draw them. Or you know what, I just go on and I'm like, oh, if, if it piques my interest, I draw it because I don't wanna waste my time on Pinterest find, trying to find the perfect reference image to draw. If it's just a study, I'll draw whatever. So yeah, here's what we got. Um, we got a girl, tomato girl, girl who's slaying, um, circuit frog, Shinji, Ashitaka, Bill Guy, Sony Angel, 10 out of 10. I love this spread. I think it's so cute. Um, this, I got some boba, so that's what was peeping out on the side. It's really good. 10 out of 10. Bro, are you serious? <laughs> oh, Shinji, Shinji, I got boba on his face. No. Rip, rip Shinji. Okay, I'll, I'll dry this off. <laughs> All right, another spread. Um, now that I have dried Shinji off, he's okay, don't worry about him. Um, I also bought this really cool tape at... Daiso, it's like an um, a Japanese uh, like dollar store, and they have these really cute washi tapes that resemble like flowers, and I got them, and I loved putting them on my spreads. But um, I actually took them out of my pencil case because I ran out of room, and I have not put them on in a while, which I really want to get back into. But yeah, so like funny story about the spread, guys. This is actually like twenty four hours later. Um, I forgot to show off this spread for some reason. I had videos of it, but I just didn't talk. I would think I was testing the audio and I just thought I had talked about it or something. Well, here you go. We have my little knight character. Um, in a class next year, we make like a year long project and I kind of want to do something kind of based on Breath of the Wild and kind of like a knight story exploration fake game. So this is like a character's concept that I came up with. She's definitely a little bit boring, so I'll have to tweet that. Then what y'all know about Beastars? We got Louie. We live, laugh, Louie. If you ever watch Beastars, um, you should go check it out. Um, definitely if you're over 16, though, because it's a little intense. Um, Marnie from Pokemon. And we got some cool people over here, like her and this guy with the cool, like, bio, uh, whatever, um, robot arms. What was I talking about? Oh my god. And then, yes, a scythe. Anyway, yay. Yay, that's done. Go enjoy the rest of the tour. Yes. And whoa, guys, here is my first um, spread with color. And I actually colored this pretty recently. I am in what I call my highlighter era. And I will be talking about these high highlighters a lot because I love them to death. And you should probably get some yourself. Um, sorry, I'm like holding it. Like it has some weird iridescence. You see that with the graphite? So... And the fun thing about these highlighters, okay, so I usually use, like, the Bic pastels. If you don't, um, have these, get them. They're, like, everywhere, and they're amazing. 
they're like what i used for this and i'll show you later but i also mixed them with these over here um they're from sweet tapir and i got them off of i think it's called tokyo tokyo pen shop and if you look them up sweet tape here um highlighters will come up and they're actually scented so the pink is peach blue is mint um orange is cookie this one's kind of crazy purple is sweet potato and vanilla is yellow and melon soda is green and they're also really good and they really really i don't know they just work so well for water based markers and I totally recommend you getting some because they are just so fun to use. And like, look at the different like values you can get with them. Just so amazing. So that is my unpaid promo for these and these. Highlighters are great. Use them. They're stress-free and they're amazing. And there's going to be a lot in this sketchbook tour that relates back to my, obviously my final for advanced animation. So here are me and my friends from high school me, Greer, and Tommy, and you know, we love to make sushi together. And here are some concept sketches that I did of us. Um, TBH, I don't really like them that much, but you know, I have more, so let me show them to you now. And by that I didn't like them that much, I obviously meant the drawings, not my friends. I love my friends a lot, okay? I just wanted to clarify that. Um, here are more sketches, and this, if you've watched my animation, you know exactly where this is from. This is from the end where we all eat the sushi, and then we do the little, like, Bum, bum, bum. and yes this is my favorite part of the animation and it was actually the first part that i sketched out so that's kind of crazy and here are more sketches these are more like you know mm, key frames so this is one that i didn't actually end up using it's where i put the sushi down on the table sushi and we got tommy what and then we have um what if i used avocado instead of rice and i'm like greer please you're killing me this is actually a real story greer actually tried to use like only avocado instead of rice in a roll and it was like floppy and it was disgusting and the seaweed like turned to like mush it it still haunts my nightmares and i actually added this in my little um the credit sequence because i thought it was really cute because i love salmon they have to supervise me because i will eat the whole slab of salmon before we get to put it in the sushi so if you have salmon watch out because i'm gonna i'm gonna get it and hey, you remember those sketches that I said I didn't like very much? So I redid them because if you know me, if I don't like something, I'm just going to start over from scratch. And that's what I did. And for these, I actually colored them with alcohol markers, which I haven't done for a very long time. And it was very nice going back to my roots for a second. Um, let's just say um, I did lose some skills. I used to be better. And also I rushed this. So don't say this is my best work. Um, but you know, I like it and I'm very happy with it. So this is me and my beloved salmon, like I said, the screer and their vegetables. Um, because they have many vegetable shenanigans, like the avocado incident, like I talked about, and Tommy, and his rice and, um, rice vinegar. He will pour the entire bottle into one thing of rice, and then eat it, and then proceed to dip his sushi in more vinegar. Oh my god. But, you know, love them, they're so quirky. Slay. <laughs> um, Slay's kind of getting chewy. Um, but anyway, I'm still gonna say it until, um, yeah, I feel like it. And I think the first thing that you're gonna notice here is Ice Spice saying her iconic line, B, you ain't even the fart. Um, yeah, it was very trendy, that line, and I still think that line is so funny in that song, in general. And yeah, I had a really fun time. I was craving some eggs, so I drew some eggs, we got cat, and then more Pinterest stuff, because... I thought it was fun. This one's kind of cringe. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's this page. And we got some pretty tapes. And yas! Uh, okay, the next page is like kind of funny. Um, we're not, uh, I do this with my friend. Because like we saw this on Pinch. Ah, uh, <laughs> venti. Like I said, I don't play Genshin Impact. But my friends do. And I thought it was funny. So there. That's all you get. Have a good one. So yeah, we have more of our highlighter art, and I actually colored this in my critique for my animation final, and I had not slept in 33 hours. So I must say I did a pretty good job getting values, um, especially saying that I didn't sleep. Um, but I think some things you can tell, like, oh my god, Riz, um, Onika Burger, Chamoy Pickle, sorry. Um, then we have I Love AI. Um, we... We actually, that's a joke. Obviously, I don't condone AI. 
But yeah, I'm really happy with how this page turned out. And uh, this was actually one of my free posts on my Patreon. Um, by the way, if you want to see all my sketchbook art before I post a, you know, sketchbook tour, you should follow me on Patreon and subscribe to one of my tiers. It's to see my sketchbooks, it's the lowest tier, so it's the inkling tier. And I would really appreciate it if you supported me. And I have two other tiers where you get a lot of cool other stuff. So you should totally go check that out. Um, so yeah, I'll link that up right here. And yeah, this is actually my storyboard for my animation. And it's my first one. I had a second draft, so you'll see that later. So this is the first page of it. And we just go through like my friends arriving, cutting the sushi, messing up and then i'm like no that's not how you do it and then we fix it in the end and then we enjoy some sushi together and actually the narrative changed um not that much but i just changed the order of a lot of things and you'll see that in my second storyboard that's coming up soon got a lot of link and food on this page if you don't know anything about me i love the legend of zelda and i love link i resonate with him a lot so i like to draw him and i really like the way i drew him here he looks so cute and I think it really captures captures his likeness while still remaining in my style. And this is just a guy. I do some food because I get hungry in class. I be hungry. So I be looking up all the yummy food pictures on Pinterest and Instagram. And I be drawing them because I want it. I love seafood. Seafood is so good. I don't understand how some people can not like seafood. Unless you're allergic. Because I get that. I'm allergic to peanuts. Um, cancel me. <laughs> just kidding. But, um... Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I have, yeah, um, some mecha legs, and then I have Greer, because they're awesome. So yeah, this is actually an assignment that I had for my biodesign class. I actually took this class without having any idea what biodesign was, and I actually found that I really enjoy it. So this is one of my first exercises that I did. I made like a probiotic spoon, and by looking at it now, I'm just like, that's so like, I don't know, boring. Like, can you come up with something cooler, Mari? But, you know, here it is. And um, my team, we have this other idea that I'll show you later. And basically, we won the competition for our class. So we get to give the panel at um, the biodesign competition in New York City at Parsons. And it's going to be really fun. Um, but I'm a little worried for it because I will be coming home from being abroad that same day. So I will be going home, sleeping. Then I'm going to be going to New York City, um, giving a presentation jet lagged. Um, so that will be very interesting to do, but yeah, I, like, this is my probiotic, probiotic spoon. You can have it with lactate, you can have it with, um, just regular probiotics, so you can help your gut be happy. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Again, we have these fat animals. I love drawing fat animals. They're so fun. And bugs, of course. Um, we just have a guy with Mr. Fresh. We love Mr. Fresh. And then Slug girl and then we have these tree sap eggs my friend called them that because they couldn't remember what the name for takoyaki was i thought it was really funny they were like tree sap eggs and i was like because uh she made like a board game and that was one of like the items and i was like you mean takoyaki and she's like i couldn't remember the name so i just called them tree sap eggs and i was like you might have well just called them tree sap balls or octopus balls <laughs> and this is my friend althea um yes and remember when I was talking about biodesign, here is my actual product that we made. Um, I, we didn't end up making this, I made a different box for it that was based off, um, actually a jewel box. Um, so here is our bacteria vape. Um, so basically it's like a fake rehab program where basically, um, you take a hit of the vape and it, um, is infused with a drug called Ipecac, so it will, um, basically make you vomit upon, um, you know, usage, and it's just used for people who want to quit nicotine. We definitely are still developing the narrative to have a good presentation, but that's the bare bones of what we were thinking. And here's a different model of a Salmonella-based model instead of our Clantobacter. So yeah, it's really cool. And I'm really excited to present this in front of people. Yay! I actually hate presenting and I'm very nervous, but it'll be okay. And here are some, okay, like, this is where my sketchbook kind of, like, starts to, like, fall off from, like, the prettiness of it. I have, um, my other sketchbook where it's actually nicer, but I have no idea if I'm actually going to get to it in this video. But if not, um, I'll let you know. And, um, I was planning on it, but we have a lot to get through and I'm taking my time on this one. So maybe I'll post it in two weeks, who knows. Um, so yeah. 
Um, so here's actually my concept for my Draw This In Your Style. Thank you so much if you participated. Um, I will be getting back to you guys about who won very shortly, probably this weekend. So get ready for that. Um, and maybe it'll be out by the time the video comes out. So yeah. And here is some Splatoon side order art. Um, I actually, I need, I finished side order, like the, the story mode part, like technically I finished it, but I need to actually do more. And I actually, I do want to finish it without any upgrades um, because I'm a completionist and I want to do that. I also need to get all the weapons, but um, time has not allowed me to do that this semester, but hopefully in the summer I will be able to do that. But I need to finish my freaking catalog first. And I'm at catalog like 37 and it's like, I have less than a month left and I'm going abroad in like two weeks. I need to hurry up. So here's Marina and Pearl. I love them very much. And I actually did this on the airplane to Florida and I had a lot of fun with it. We also have Final Fest, ADHD versus autism. Which team are you choosing? <laughs> I just think it's funny how Pearl's doing the um, actually pose in this one. I actually did this one pretty recently. I just found space because I was really desperately due for a new sketchbook, but I kept putting it off and I still need to buy a new one. Um, I have a new one on my small one, but I need to get a new big chunky one because I need both in my life. And here is some more Splatoon art. We got Oct and me, Octo Inks, the real Agent 8. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I actually made a full piece with this. I'll probably put it like here for you guys to see if I remember to. I'm so sorry because editing these are actually a nightmare. Um, so yeah. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I also did this on a plane. Um, I think it's pretty good for, you know, plane drawings. So, yeah. And yo, guys, look! It's Megami and Osuro! Um, yeah. Um, I really like these designs, and I'm really upset, but... Not really upset, but I'm a little sad that the video didn't do as well as I thought I was gonna do. Um, because I hyped them up for a very long time. Because they were the ones that I was looking forward the most to doing. Um, but, you know, you take some, you lose some. You don't always get what you want. Um, but if you guys are interested, go check out my recent Yandere Simulator video. It's posted like a month ago, and it's really cool. And I really love their designs. And slay. And here is my actual, like, finalized storyboard of my final animation. And, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. And, like, this was, like, when did I make this? Like, probably, like, I feel like it wasn't even that long ago. Like, after midterm. So it's, like... I don't know, I had so much to do in the last, like, month, and I'm actually so surprised that I was able to do it. I don't know how, I don't remember making it, but, you know, here I am, and it's done, and you should go check it out. Um, so, yeah, um, I basically just changed the order of a lot of the scenes, and I made it more, like, I don't know, the narrative was more clear, definitely, for sure, and, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it, and I basically stayed faithful to my storyboard, and... Yeah, I'm very happy with how my animation turned out. Um, please go watch it, please. And here is where I start drawing the keyframes. Something about me is that I actually do not know how to draw digitally. I know how to render, I know how to line, but for some reason, every time I try to draw on my iPad, it looks terrible. I think it's the zoom. Like, I like over zoom on things and then like, I can't get proportions right. So I like pen, pencil on paper. She is the OG, and I just stick with her. And, you know, maybe someday I'll be able to do it. But I like filling my sketchbooks, too. So that's, you know, two birds, one stone with that. But, yeah. And then I have more of my keyframes, which were really fun to do. And I just liked having them in my sketchbook because I could check them off when I drew them. And it really helped. Um, yeah, this is how I was feeling during this time. I was... I was dreading doing the rest of the animation. I was like, oh dang, if this was a comic, I would be so happy. I'd be almost done. But no, it was a full animation, three minutes long or two and a half minutes if we want to get technical, but it was, oh, ouch. And here we got the rest of my keyframes. These are my final ones. You know, they're not in order. Keep that in mind. Um, so yeah. This one actually was a photo. I didn't end up using this one, actually. I cut it because I was like, I'm so tired. I had been awake for like 30 hours and I was like, I haven't done this one yet. And I was like, what if we just didn't do it? So I did not. Um, this is um, a stitching that I did for one of my books that I made. So in book making class. And this is Zelda. Um, my club did a, an event where we sold merchandise. 
and I got a chance to make my own acrylic charm, so this was my design, and here she is! Oh my gosh! And yes, I am so happy with it, and you know, maybe I'll sell her eventually. Who knows, maybe Octoline's shop will come up eventually, and this will be an item. Yay! And here's like my concept slash storyboard for, for my bookmaking projects. I made a story about two friends where one of them thinks that the other is a kitsune. Um, and here it is, and oh, bald Muki-chan and Yui. I have been really into K-On lately, and if you ever watch the anime and you want something like nice and sweet to watch, go watch that. There is some moments of fan service, but... You know, just try to look past it. It's a really good show, I swear. And, you know, here's my book that I was talking about. And I can show you my final story for this um, concept. So, ooh, look at this marble paper. Um, so basically, I made the cover. I bound the book. So basically, this is like a class book. So not all of this is mine. Um, a lot of these are from my classmates. Um, but the first story in it is mine. So we have, yeah, Dear Diary, my friend, Kami Zekitsune. And then I'll just, um, you know, go through it. And if you want to read it, you can pause and read. So yeah, that's my story, and I really, I, you know, I was really struggling with it because we had to do something based on mythology, and I was like, oh god, I, I, I can't write stories and I don't like mythology that much, what am I going to do? But hey, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and yeah. And um, my club actually did like a figure, uh, figure drawing kind of study lesson thing, and we just did like, you know, 30 second poses, a minute poses, five minute poses, 10 minute poses. So I'll just be going through those pretty quickly because, I don't know, there's not much to say. It's just figure drawing. So it's just exercises, you know. And yeah, those are my figure drawings. And yeah, definitely go check out those websites like Quick Poses. And yeah, they're really awesome. Uh, so yeah, I actually lied. That was not the end to my storyboard. I actually had a whole nother segment because why? Um, my story was not linear. And maybe I just wanted to punish myself with doing more work. But hey, it ended up really looking great in my animation, so I'm really happy that I did it. Because it really pulled it together, and I got to use my YouTube skills to edit it together in Premiere. So, yes. And here are some more keyframes slash doodles that I did, and these were made by my lovely friend Sophia. Um, she is amazing at art. Um, so, yeah. Um, love you, Sophia. Um, so you know how I did that Zelda charm? I was gonna do a link to accompany her, but, um, I hashtag ran out of time, so he never came to be. And I didn't really like the way he looked, so maybe one day he'll become a thing? Um, I would really, really, really love to, uh, make a Link and Zelda charm. So, he will definitely come one day, but not now, sadly. So sad. And, <gasps> what's this? It's the Cutie Mark Crusaders, and- Guys, it's my video from last week. I actually did this art like like probably like over a month ago and I only got the video out like last week because I just kept having more things to do like collabs and video con con ugh, commentary. What? What happened to my voice there? Well, commentary videos. Um, and we finally got to it and now I'm doing a sketchbook tour with them in it and this was the original sketches and love them. So cute. And we have made it to the end of the sketchbook, and it is none other than my Animal Crossing's New Horizon characters that I made in collab with Inkyo. And if you haven't checked out this video, check it out. I'll link it right here. It's a really cool video, and it barely got any views. And I was really proud of these designs. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have a really big problem with drawing the heads humongous. Like, what is that? Um, my final art of it looks a lot better, so please go check it out. Um... I just get too lazy to erase it because I'm like, oh, the head looks fine. I just need to make it smaller. So have no fear if you're you're rendering it digitally. Who cares if the proportions are off? Just edit them digitally. And yeah. And yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching my sketchbook tour. And yeah, um, I plan on posting one very soon because I originally had planned to go through this sketchbook as well because um, 
I filmed it all and I started it in January as well, but you know, I don't think that we'll have time and I would rather just split it up into like two 20 minute videos than like an hour of a long video. Um, I know the math doesn't add up, but I have no idea how long these videos are going to be. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, it'll probably come out, like I said, in the next few weeks. And, um, like I said earlier, um, I started a Patreon and I have a lot of really cool stuff. And if you like my sketchbook tours, you can see all of this art early. Get that early with my lowest tier, which is $3, the Inkling tier. So you'll be getting all of my, um, you know, sketches before I actually post the tours. And go check out my other stuff too, because, um, I think I have more stuff included with that tier. And then I have, um, two other tiers that include other stuff, such as exclusive videos and whips for my, um, you know, upcoming videos. So that's really cool. And you guys should go check that out. And I'll be linking it down in the description below. And it's in my link tree. So with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And bye.